labels like crust, um, punk rock, um, hardcore. How would you describe your music? And what kind of style is it? I don't think we're a punk band. I don't think we're a hardcore band. I don't think we're a metal band. We're an amalgamation of all three of those plus 20 more you know, uh, genre-specific influences. Um, most descriptions are accurate. Some seem, uh, you know, some seem kind of campy at times, but it's fine. Um, I've never been one to name a genre. You know, I wouldn't call Neil Young a certain genre. Neil Young is Neil Young. Not that I'm comparing, <laughs> comparing us to Neil Young, but, you know, I, you don't say Led Zeppelin's a heavy metal band. You know, I mean, you don't say Black Sabbath's a heavy metal band. It's, we are who we are. I mean, it, it's, we just play music that we like to play. And we channel a lot of, you know, a lot of our emotions, a lot of our outlooks into a sonic form. And that's, that's, that's what we do, you know, genre aside. So what is crust punk music? See, that's, a diff that's another difficult question <laughs> for me to answer. Because when I think of crust, I mean, I, like I said, I think of like, I think of old UK bands like Sacrilege, um, you know, Hellbastard, Axe Grinder, uh, Electro Hippies, like, and those bands are all over the board as far as what they sound like, but I think of old like kind of um, sort of sloppy, dirty sounding. And I think that's probably where the term crust came from. Dirty. I mean, nausea. Like, great example of an American band um, from you know twenty something years ago at this point, which is odd to believe. Um, who you know just did their part to continue uh, crust in sort of a transatlantic fashion. So it's vague. You know, it's it's you can't really put a put a finger on it. You can't really define it. But it's just it's got something to do with like, I guess guitar sound, um, darkness, structure of the music, vocal style, whatever. You know. So what are the overall themes um, that you like to write about? Lyrically. Yes. Um, observations, feelings. Uh, you know where we. It changes. I mean, it's changed over the years. Um, I've never been, lyrically, I've never written um, overtly political lyrics. They're more, uh, I guess you could say, deconstructionist in a way, um, sort of observing things and breaking them down and, and doing this in a, in, in a style that doesn't lose an art form in and of itself. I think one problem with, with um, independent music and with, with punk music is that vocals and lyrics sort of they take important for the importance for the vehicle. Like, in other words, a punk song uh, can be written as a vehicle for the lyrics, and so the lyrics are the most important thing of that song. And they put it on the lyric sheet, and they talk about it between songs. Yet the vocals are done poorly. The lyrics are are there's no poetry in the lyrics, and you know they're cheating themselves. The music is second to the lyrics, yet the lyrics and the vocals aren't done poorly. So are are uh, are done poorly. Excuse me. Uh, so I've always tried to be intentionally vague with things. Many of the lyrics after, after 10 years can be interpreted in different ways, but they're observations. You know, I have sort of a, I have a posit positively dark view of our world, you know, like where I, I love, I love life. I love, I love what we do, but I got a lot of complaints and I got a lot of shit that I feel like can change, you know? Just like everybody should. Um, so none of us are none of us are, are, are comfortable uh, or or uh, uh, complacent. You know, we we feel like there's a constant need to, to motivate, to urge, and and to do something. Um, so if someone were to interpret a song that I wrote um, differently and then react, you know, assuming it's within reason, then there's nothing wrong with that. There you go. Vague answer for vague, <laughs> for vague lyrics. How was the response from um, your fans when y'all collaborated with Jay Trees since y'all were really big on the DIY attitude? Um, it was mixed, honestly. You know, initially I think it was it was there. We didn't really change the way we did things that much. I mean, it's or even if, at all. I mean, that was seven, eight years ago now. Um, you know. It, it, I believe in having, I don't necessarily believe in doing everything yourself, whether it's personally or as a band. I believe in, I believe in craft. I believe in the, in the philosophy of craft. And I feel that no matter what 
I am involved in, there's somebody out there, that's his craft. So, you know, I play guitar. I put my guitar strings on. If I need work done on my guitar, I'm not gonna learn how to do it. I'm gonna let somebody that has done that as a trade, as a skill, that has put every bit of his or her passion into that for, uh, you know, as long as they've been doing it. Um, and I believe there's a lot of value in that. There's value in, in trusting other people. Um, so I believe more in a do it together ethic than do it yourself. And had we not been comfortable doing it together with that record label, I mean, we obviously wouldn't have done it. So, you know, you can be, you can do it yourself to a fault. A, a perfect example is someone who takes up every every hobby under the under the sun. You know, cook their own food, brew their own beer, and you know, sharpen their own tools, and they become a jack of all trades, master of none. I don't believe in following that path in life, and that's gonna permeate into every, every musical project I think all of us are, are, are gonna be involved in.